What's up guys, so I'm sure you can tell by the title and thumbnail, today's video is definitely going to be a fun one. Me and Jacob are coming over, so we're finally going to get to experience a 1000 horsepower LDZ, built engine, built trans, triple turbo, it's basically everything you can do is done to his truck. I haven't ridden in it since it's really ran good since before his engine blew when it was compound turboed, and that thing was wicked then, I can't even imagine what it's going to be now, so stoked for that. Either way, of course it's going to be below freezing the day that they decide to come over, so it's super cold out here, hopefully my LDZ will crank up. Let's go ahead and start with that. Jacob's sitting here complaining about his truck, all the little flaws and stuff. But I just want to point out this. Now, my LBZ is what a lot of people look for. The crew cab standard mm -hmm. bed with a sunroof. Mm -hmm. But Jacob, you have the Holy Grail. Do you know that? Your truck is the Holy Grail. What do you mean? Okay, for one, it is crew cab standard bed. Mm -hmm. You got cab lights. You have sunroof. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you've just forgotten these things. You have DVD player. You have sliding rear glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It had. There's nothing missing. This is the fully loaded. I mean, what? What? What else? There's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to top it off, it is. What? What? What tune are we in right now? Like, what are we gonna? What are we gonna play in? Are we leave in the fifth inning. Which is. Uh, I think it's right under 1100 horsepower. Yeah, you done marked up, come and claim this territory. Yeah. No, but I did want to mention that because, like, I got to thinking the other day, because you've had this truck for how many years? Almost 12. Insane fun when it was stock motor, compound turbo. This thing was a literal street monster. <laughs> freaking raw dogged it for a hundred thousand miles it was it was i think that was the most fun setup that i've ever had because i didn't cringe every time i floored it I right literally go it didn't care it was, it was ready it was ready for it and it didn't smoke bad just the tires right burnouts galore is that the donkey yeah How long I had that donkey? <laughs> it's older than me good gosh there they are good gracious <laughs> dude this is insane Soak in. All right, so we got built engine, Molly race cast pistons, wagon rods, alternate firing crank, um, Durastar crank, alternate firing cam, Durastar crank, girdle, uh, fully built transmission minus the intermediate shaft. Uh, it's got 200 and over extra G injectors, 12 millimeter CP3, and then we've got the two S363s over uh, S472 five blade. The atmospheric turbos were done by Reed over at Work Turbo. And they were, I mean, he went through them, like did a ton of stuff to them that I don't know everything that's done to the five blade. But uh, it spools up crazy fast, <laughs> gets down. <laughs> I mean, it's as cold as it is today, we're not gonna get any traction. Right. So we'll just kind of play around with it. It sounds insane. There's no, I haven't heard any other Duramax. Yeah, from, sounds... from the videos you've sent me, it sounds freaking wicked. Mm. Dude, it's it just looks much. insane. Yeah, I mean, there's like things that Ryan did. Um, like he like bolted stuff, like my AC, he ran, re-ran it down under the turbo so it wasn't laying across and he bolted it to the engine, zip tied everything. I mean, just stuff like right down in here, there's like a wrap somewhere right there just to keep all this stuff from like rubbing holes in it. Like all the little craftsmanship that he did. Just the pipe wrap looks insane. Yeah, he wrapped that himself. He sent me a Snapchat and he's like, I got it wrapped. And then like 10 minutes later, he was like, I took it off. I didn't like it, <laughs> did it again. That looks he put good. everything on there and then took it all back off and then put it all back together to make sure everything lined up perfectly. We did um, glow plug deletes and um, new engine mounts as well. 
Y'all ready? Let's drive her. Hopefully we don't break something. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs>
Go ahead and throw you a burger on there. I saw your grill inside. <laughs> Dude, they look insane together. That's wild. Leveled versus lifted. I know. That boy grilling back. Leveled. Nine inch lift. It's your first time seeing mine. Yeah. It's crazy big. Think so? Yeah. Yeah. It's funny <laughs> seeing them next to each other. Level with kit, nine inch lift. I think you need some bigger, shinier wheels. 28s? 28s. That boy had to do it to him. Double pop. Dude, they just look so good on these trucks. Oh my gosh. I mean, I just can't get over your truck because I, I, just after owning a bunch of these GMT 800s, I mean. Dude, she's just freaking balling. Sunroof, DVD player, rear slider, thousand horsepower. How does it feel to own a truck for this long, though? Is it just like super cool? You know, it's it's nice to be a consistent. Man. There you go. Just stick to one thing. There it is. You know, might have had several other vehicles over the years and swapped and traded them. You gotta have. Gotta have that one. It is just cool to think about you've had that for that long. Got a lot of memories in it. Yeah. I'll never forget the day that we ran from the Popo at the beach. I don't that. Yeah, me neither. That never happened. That'd be a cool story if it happened, it though. It would have been. You know, like, we'd have, like, run up over the bridge and then took yep. a quick right-hand turn and hit under the bridge while we heard him fly over. Yep. That... I mean, we were not doing 70 to 45. At full throttle. At full throttle. That was also the same time we didn't race the uh, six liter on seven cylinders. We yeah, were on seven. We did not do that either. And smoked him. Smoked him. Yeah. That would have been a cool trip if that happened. It would have been. Been a good day. Uh, been a fun day. Yeah, for sure. I don't get to. I take the truck to Publix from time to time. <laughs> a true grocery getter. A true grocery getter. Which um, the triples and built engine, all that was mandatory. Yeah. Because if you're gonna have to get groceries, you might as well have fun on the way there. do something there it is and you got to get there quick and get the meat back quick you know you don't want it to spoil right ice cream Psh, yeah. it's on a clock dude yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, day. yeah for sure so are, are we going to get it back on the drag strip oh yeah okay we are warm weather for sure yeah. i'm thinking actually i need to run it by d but i'm thinking about like trying to see if we could rent a track for a day and taking a bunch of people for rides and get some good footage and dude that'd be sick be awesome that would be Just sick kind of have it right have it out there because it's hard to get footage at night when it's dark right yeah if you could get a daytime track that would be nuts i'd love to come out there too obviously for yeah. reaction but also maybe something i don't have anything quick at the moment shorty's probably the fastest i don't know dermat I, nah put her in the hot tin extreme <laughs> Check us over there cringing. Just don't let it go into fourth. <laughs> we'll stay in third and below. But we're going to have something for you this year. Trust me. I know I said that last year and then I sold my F1 before it was fast. But trust me, we got something in the works. We're going to give you a, we're gonna give you a run. Whether you want to. Yeah. Mine? Yes. Shoot. 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 Just wait. Eighth mile. Trust me. It's coming. It's coming. Eighth mile. Eighth mile. Mm. Wow, quarter be, quarter be even better for me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Eighth mile, that's a lot of torque, man. Mm. I'm going to yeah. have torque. Well, all right, let's put something on it. All right. Pinks. Pinks, no. We'll put a we'll put a $5 bet on it. This year, $5. 2024, I have something that can outrun you. At least one race. At least one race. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it, dude. All right, there let's we do go. It. That'd be awesome. We go. Let's get the handshake right here on... Boom! There it is, boys. Five bucks. 2024. Something on the channel is going to at least put up a heck of a fight. And worst case scenario, I lose five bucks for an awesome race. Here's here's so here's so Here's a goal for you. I think that should be at around a 10-5. 10-5. 10-5, 10-6. I've been 11-1 when Dad has Hellcat. First pass, 11-1. It was flying. So 10-5, I know, is a huge achievement. 
I, I'm gonna come for you. Yeah. If I <laughs> if I get a ten nine nine, I'll be happy. Right. That's all I've ever wanted is a ten second truck. Is it even worth pushing it for the quarter or not? Why not just keep it a eighth mile truck? I'm gonna do one quarter. One quarter. One quarter pass yeah. just to see if I get the ten. Just to have the time slip. Just Mounted time. on the wall. This is 12, 12 years in the making. But they, yeah. <laughs> What's the fact you ran a 11.3? Uh, 11.46. Okay. Which is still insane. I showed Brett. I showed your Brett. I showed my father-in-law his truck. And I was like, you just, just walk over here. Let me pop the hood real quick. Because obviously his trail boss, blacked out truck, loves his truck. Popped the hood, triples are right there. And he's like, dude, what the crap? <laughs> I was like, you would not expect this to roll up on you and be putting down a thousand horsepower. <laughs> and the thing is, it spools like super quick. Right. And that's what I wanted was a clean burning, daily driving, quick spooling truck that runs tents. So I think we're there. I'm ready to see it. We'll we'll be there. It's cold. It's freezing. Sign us off, Jacob, please. All right, guys. Well, we hope you uh, can't talk. It's too cold. It's too cold. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>